This isn't just another 30 minute commercial. This is the people behind the products, the innovators, the engineers, the entrepreneurs. Your ability to smell is gone. Wow. This isn't just another hunting show. This is Deer Tech TV. Hey everybody, I'm Dave Galane. Welcome to Deer Tech TV, week three. This week, we're talking e-scouting techniques with Ed Gramza of Basemap. And then we are witnessing what could potentially be the cutest little girl, Avery White, as she takes her very first buck with a crossbow. But first, we're talking mobile scent elimination. Here's Brad Rux with the details. Hi, I'm Brad Rux from Deer Tech TV. You know, one of the things when you come to a new camp, uh, absolutely necessary is beating the whitetail's nose. You know, for me, ozone is that tool. It totally neutralizes any kind of bacteria. You know, basically that ozone is a very volatile element and it attacks anything because it wants to become neutral. And by attacking that bacteria, it becomes neutral and that bacteria becomes scent free. When it comes to those whitetails, the nose is absolutely crucial. They have so many receptors. They have so much more ability to smell than you or I. I mean, just think about a dog. Basically, they have the same type of sense of smell that they can go with there, only their life and death matters to them. So anything that's out of the question, they're gonna react to it. And that's why I love ozone. And this thing crusher, I'm using the duffel bag here, the newest one. It has a higher ozone output. You put your clothes in there, totally destroys all bacteria. I literally hit it before I leave the house. And when I get to camp, I'm gonna hit it every time before and after I go on a hunt. So before I'm gonna turn it on for the max and let it blow. And then when I come back, I'm gonna put my clothes in the bag again, because I know that ozone is gonna destroy all that bacteria. And if I'm sent free, I'm gonna be more successful. What I love about this backpack uh, duffel bag is this ability to hold everything. I mean, in here I got my pants, I have my shirt, I have my coat, I have my boots, hats, gloves. You know, basically this thing has the ability to hold all of my camouflage clothing and I can put a lot more in there. The beauty of it is, right here is the ozone generator. It's right on the side. I don't even have to dig it out. You can if you want, it's contained in the pocket. All you have to do is turn it on, it's good from five to 30 minutes. And what it's going to do is kill all that bacteria that was left on your clothes. Let's face it, as you go out to your stand, you're sweating. When you're in your stand, you're sweating. There's other scents out there. All that stuff is gonna get attracted to your clothing and it's gonna stick to it. What I do when I come back, I'm gonna put all my clothing in here, charge it up for 30 minutes. That ozone's gonna kill all the bacteria that is possible out there. So literally, I'm gonna to be totally scent free. I know my clothing is. I'm one of those guys that's actually gonna do it in the morning, even after I did it that night, I know my clothes are scent free, I'm gonna hit it again in the morning, just to make sure. I wanna be better, be safe than sorry, because I wanna fool that whitetail's nose. What I love about Scent Crusher is they have ozone-based products that'll fit anybody's need. They have the duffel bag. They got the portable closet, which is brand new this year, super cool. 
they have the regular closets, which every hunter, if you're at home and you're in your home farm and you hunt right there, I promise you, you're gonna wanna have one of these things. They also have a portable unit that goes in your car. So if a guy's leaving work, he can plug that in, totally get the rest of his body scent free, and then pull his clothes out of the duffel bag. It is the optimum way to hunt whitetails. One of my favorite things about the new duffel is a double back strap. Throw it on and you're good to go. Deer Tech TV is brought to you by Scent Thief, make the wind your cover. Base map, plan, navigate, share. Skull hooker, get your head on right. Browning trail cameras. And by High Mountain Seasonings. Make the most of your game meat. For hunting, shooting, camping, fishing gear, and more, go to sportsmansguide.com. They sell all the top brands in the industry like Carhartt, Loophole, Browning, and Boulderton, all at unbeatable prices. For everything you need to outfit your outdoor passion for a lot less, go to sportsmansguide.com. Welcome back to Deer Tech TV. Now that we've talked about eliminating scent on the go, let's talk about a few things you can do before you ever leave the house. Or the couch for that matter. Brad Rux and Ed Gramza from Base Map talk e-scouting. We're here in Wisconsin where there is a wealth of public land and I'm here with Ed from Base Map. Nice Ed, man. tell everybody a little bit about Base Map and how you would hunt on public land. So base map is great because it's going to show you the, that public land. You know, a lot of us don't have land in Wisconsin. You know, some people hunt, you know, the same tree that their grandpa hunted in 100 years ago. You know, but a lot of us have to go on public. So it's going to keep you on that public, you know, because obviously the private land people don't want you on their, their property. So you can find that public land. You can e-scout it without even having to go there. You know, try to find some clear cuts or some, some trails, some hidden gems. Mark waypoints, mark trails. Um, heck, if, you, if you're brave enough to put a, tra or a trail camera out there, you can mark where your trail camera is. Uh, I mean, there's just a, a lot of information that we provide that will help you on public land. Now, I was looking, I was playing around with your app, looking at a couple of the public areas, and, and the in-depth, the high definition that you got, the area I was looking at is a big marsh, but you could clearly see the trails. Now, I didn't go look at it. I don't know if they're deer trails or they're people's trails, right. but there are trails. Right. You know, yeah, that's one thing that we have is super high definition, you know, satellite imagery. You know, so you can you can really zoom in and try to try to see those trails, um, you know, and pinpoint hopefully where deer are moving to and from. Nice. You know, when I'm hunting on public land, I'm always looking for some features. So so what I've learned in whitetail hunting in the past is if you can find something that's a little different in that area. So if it's a big marsh and there's a clump of four trees or there's a big clump of willow brush, that is like the hot spot in that area. You know what I mean? That's where right. all the deer, and when you're looking at your maps, again, when I was playing around in the high definition, I could see the trails going around that area. So I, I know that deer are out there. It's just when are they using it? Right, and, and again, that, that helps from your east scouting because if you don't have time to get boots on the ground, if you're living in a different part of the state and you're driving out here and you don't have time, you can at least pinpoint, okay, this is where I want to go set up a, a tree stand or a trail camera. Kind of limit how much time you're out in the woods and, and you know get to an area that you want to hunt. And some of these public areas really are, even though they're immense, to access them are very, very small. You know what I mean? If you don't know that access point, you, right. you don't even know it's there. Right. You know, it's nice that it shows you, you know, it's highlighted in a, in a color. So you can see exactly where those boundaries are. So you know where to get into that place because if it's a little funnel, and it opens up, you know exactly where, where to walk and where not to walk. So Ed, the last couple of times you mentioned e-scouting, you know, what's entailed? What do you do? So, you know, obviously you could e-scout from your phone or your tablet, but I tell you what, one of the easiest ways to do it is to go to basemap.com and log into your account. Because now you get that map on your computer screen, okay? So you really want to pinpoint the areas you're looking for or find those trails, you could do that online, okay? <laughs> So if you start drawing way, you know, marking waypoints or drawing trails, anything you do on web transfers to your mobile device, and anything you do on your mobile device transfers to web. So if you want to e you know, really e-scout like a pro, you go on the computer and do it. Which is perfect for some older guys. <laughs> My eyes are not as good as they used to be. And when you're looking at a phone, I mean, 
Who's got a phone that big? I got the biggest phone you possibly right. have. You right. know what I mean? And it's still sometimes I struggle, especially right. if I'm con you know. So that that would make perfect sense. Yeah, Using my big old computer screen, yeah, and now I can see everything. It definitely makes it a lot easier. You know, so when you get to that spot, you've already seen it. Yeah. Okay. You know where those clear cuts are, or where that trail, or where those you know the hardwoods, you know oak, and you know anything you're looking for. You already know where it is because you've got it now. You've got it marked on your map before you even get to the spot. Nice. You just open up the app and start navigating to it. The one thing as a hunter, you know, so, so now I know what it, now I go into that place, I hang a tree stand, okay, now I'm going in there first time. It's in the morning, everything looks different when it's dark. Now, I cannot tell you how many times I struggled finding a stand that I knew exactly where it was. That takes that fear out. Now, now I have it marked, right? I mean, right. You know, and if you're going into that spot for the first time, obviously you don't know where to navigate. You know, you could turn on a tracking feature where it leaves a breadcrumb nice. trail, okay? So you know, okay, that was the way to go, or man, I got to find an easier way, you know? But at least if you get in there and don't know where you're at, because obviously when the sun comes up and everything looks different, you at least know how to get back if, God forbid, you're lost. Huge. Guys, if, if you are looking for a great app and you're hunting on public land, check out Base Map. I think it's going to make anybody that's hunting on public land a much more successful hunter. And if nothing else, your fears of being on the wrong property or finding that piece of perfect piece of property, you have everything you need. Check out Base Map. This segment of Deer Tech TV is brought to you by Outdoor Edge. This segment of Deer Tech TV is brought to you by Thermosy. Hi, I'm Brad Rooks from Deer Tech TV. It's been an interesting year between the pandemic with COVID-19 and our theory on this show, or our theme was literally going to be going to these manufacturers, which you guys don't know. We know a lot of these people personally. They're deer hunters producing a great product because they want to make you guys better hunters. And we want to get behind the scenes. We didn't want to make it look like it was a TV commercial for 30 seconds. We wanted to get behind the scenes, show you how it's made, tell you a little bit of the inside scoop. But with COVID-19, we haven't had the ability to travel. So the community kind of came together. We're shooting some of our, our stuff here with prototypes. We're, we're using product that we're not as familiar because it just came out. But we're doing the best we can. We're excited to show you what 2021 is gonna be because hopefully we can travel again and we're gonna get behind the scenes and show you guys the footage that was meant to be. I hope you enjoy the show. Welcome back to Deer Tech TV. Next up, we're headed to the Cheesehead State of Wisconsin to share a very special moment with a very special young lady named Avery. Well, it's September 28th here in Southern Wisconsin. We're back trying to get Avery a deer. Um, I just had a little mishap. I forgot her shooting sticks. So she had to run all the way back to the truck and get them, didn't you? That's why we don't have no clothes on. Still a little hot, but um, we're gonna cool down here a little bit, and uh, it's supposed to cool off tonight within within daylight. So hopefully this deer are gonna be on their feet. Um, we're over some turnips and radishes and stuff like that, and uh, we also have some corn and beans in the valley. But the beans are turning turning yellow, so we're hoping that they're gonna concentrate on this these uh, this turnips and radish and stuff like that. So we're gonna give it. Give it a whirl tonight and hopefully she can kill her first deer. We're looking to kill either a doe or a buck. Um, maybe both. Let's see how it goes.
Dear Tech TV is brought to you by Scent Crusher. Scent off, game on. Thermos seat, stay outdoors. Primal tree stands, hunt your prey the primal way. And by Lifeline by Hunter Safety System. Don't climb without it. This segment of Dear Tech TV is brought to you by Skullhooker. just had a little buck and two doll come in and uh, he just kind of went off. I got a pond over here about 100 yards to the right and I'm thinking he went down there to get a drink. But it's way early and there was already three deer on their feet so maybe um, maybe he'll come back up here and want to eat in this food pot a little bit before dark or maybe some more will come out. So pretty exciting that we already seen three. Boy, I'm not a very good tracker, am I? <laughs> you told me you shot a dog. Go get it. Avery! <laughs> what the heck was I doing? Oh. Oops. Hey, girl. Good job. Girl's carrying the team again. <laughs> what the? What do you think? What do you think? We didn't have to sit very long. We've been practicing all summer and uh, persistence paid off. She came out the first night and we didn't, we seen a whole bot, but we didn't, we didn't uh, have any luck. And one night she didn't want to go, but tonight she said she wanted to go back again and she shot her first book.
all you grown men out there watching right now and acting like you don't want to cry, quit lying to yourself. Congratulations, Avery. That is an awesome deer, an awesome moment, and we couldn't be happier for you. The smile says it all. That's it for this week's episode of Deer Tech TV. We'll see you next week. <laughs>